In this lesson, we're going to describe the Microsoft Privacy Statement, the Online Services Terms, or OST, and the Data Protection Amendment, the DPA. If we look at the skills assessed for AZ900, we're now looking at this idea about describe the privacy and compliance resources, and then we're diving into these particular elements. We're gonna combine some of these together, maybe change the order slightly, but we'll cover all of these key types of resource. And these are basically three documents. So firstly, I can think about this Microsoft Privacy Statement. This is all about the idea of the personal data Microsoft collects, how it's used, and for what purpose. So we can absolutely go and look at that document. You do not have to have read this in detail. The key point here is this exists, and the focus of this document is just about, and it's kind of stressing that in the first sentence, the personal data Microsoft processes, how and for what purpose. So this is the document I would go and look at, the Microsoft Privacy Statement, to understand, well, what it collects and why. The next document is the online services terms. Now this is the legal agreement between Microsoft and the customer. It outlines the various obligations around processing and security of the customer data and personal data. So once again, you can go through this document and it's really just going through, it has things like acceptable use policy, just the various aspects of that agreement between Microsoft and the customer. So that's the goal of this. The third document is the Data Protection Addendum, the DPA. So this further defines the data processing and security terms for the various online services. Now this is focusing around things like compliance with laws, disclosure of process data, the data security, i.e. security practices, policies, encryption, access compliance, and then data transfer, the retention, the deletion. And this document, you can see it's available in lots of different languages. And I could just go and download the current version. And then, hey, here we go. So if I'm curious about the details of how the data is processed, the security for those, I can go and look at this document. So once again, the key point here is you do not have to have read all of these documents. You don't have to know word for word what's in them. Just the point of these documents is to understand they exist and which one. Hey, I care about what personal data Microsoft's collecting. Well, that's the Microsoft Privacy Statement. Hey, what is the key kind of agreement between Microsoft and the customer? Well, that's the online services terms, the OST. I want more detail about the data processing, the data handling security of my online services. Well, that's the data protection addendum. So understand those three documents exist and what their goals are. 